born and raised. All right, so here we go again. Uh, some more uh, maintenance uh, and uh, this time I'm servicing the um, steering bearing on uh, here on the front so there's a bearing uh, up here underneath here and also down here and uh, from what I understand and uh, also through experience uh, on uh, bikes in general but uh, this one uh, I think is in particular the lower bearing here uh, is uh, under a lot of uh, stress and a lot of debris and water uh, kind of collects here, sprays up. So it's important to um, take this apart every now and then uh, and uh, inspect it and at least uh, push some uh, more grease into it so it's, uh, it uh, stays fresh. And uh, to do this, you need uh, to uh, uh, remove a couple of things. As you can see here, I've been uh, uh, already, already been on this uh, for uh, like an hour. So I uh, came up with the idea uh, for another video. So I'm gonna try to explain this uh, as simple as I can. So you need to uh, loosen this uh, and with my tools, to uh, be able to reach uh, this bolt, I need to remove the, the handlebars, and uh, it was actually a bit trickier than I uh, expected. Because uh, you need to uh, first loosen uh, it, kind of it's like this. Maybe like that, yeah, like this. So it's just like yeah, this. So uh, at first you need to loosen the bolt. These four. It's quite easy. Just uh, like yeah, unbolt this. Get rid of them. Then there's a lot bigger bolts. It's uh, like this, uh, all the way through, like that. And under here, it's like this on both sides. And this. Uh, I believe it's a 17 millimeter. Uh, let's check it out. Yes, a 17 millimeter socket that you need to uh, get in here to uh, be able to uh, reach this. And on the left side, it's uh, quite easy. It's a little bit more space than on the right side, so you need to have the um, the front fork in a certain. Uh, position to be able to reach uh, the right side. Uh, I did it with uh, these, uh, like a bucket tool uh, and a socket. Can okay, sit like this. Like that. So just to remove it. Then you can remove the handlebars as I did here. And my plan isn't to... Uh, yeah, this was uh, just a really crap idea that I got. So and I wanted to, to uh, try to uh, just lower the whole fork to be able to uh, reach the, the bearings. What I should have uh, done right away is to uh, get the fork of the bike and do it uh, properly instead. 
Yeah, it was just really here. hard to yeah. try to yeah, get uh, the, the, the focus the uh, focus a hole a bit, uh, uh, on the bike the again with, uh, the, with the uh, wheels and forklifts and everything. It. Maybe if I were uh, two persons in there, to, uh, I would have uh, managed it, but I didn't. So I just Probably had to uh, get and, everything uh, off the bike and uh, the, disassemble it and uh, put the uh, triple bike, clamp back on and the forklifts and then the wheel. So just do it like the correct way right away instead of doing this. This is a 10 millimeter socket. This one is uh, 27 millimeter. Oh, that was quite loose. Good thing to do this every now and then, I guess. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Here you can see that it's quite uh, dirty down here. But it feels quite alright. But you see, you can rip the water from it. That's not good. Not in the long term. So this needs to be uh, uh, cleaned up and uh, re-greased. Uh, I can't feel any, like, uh, it's all right. I think it's all right, this uh, bearing here. And I'm not, most certainly, it's not a bearing expert. I'm just, I just done this a couple of times and I tend just to like wipe them off really good. Compressed air on these, but I uh, sometimes I do like you uh, like uh, very careful just to get some more dirt out of it. You see the dirt coming out. I'm not sure if the bearing likes that but uh, I've done it a couple of times and haven't noticed any downside to it. I usually use this, this uh, lube, it's uh, like uh, high temperature uh, for wheel bearing and uh, stuff like that. Then uh, clean this part up. Not sure what this is called. It's taking a little bit of heat here. Thank you. 
using a small amount of grease and just grease it up a little bit too. Well, I uh, can't com I can't call it a complete failure, but uh, I didn't really intend uh, intend to do this. But I tried something out and uh, it didn't work out. Uh, apparently, there's no shortcuts. So, uh, but uh, it wasn't all bad because I found uh, uh, some things that I need to do on it. So, might as well now. Uh, Hmm. Well, in a way, that's how you service uh, steering berry. How I do it. Someone else might do it some other way. Uh, it has worked out uh, good for me when I've done it before on certain bikes, so that's how I do it. Hope you liked it.